So my name is Conor McGrady. Um, I'm a New York based artist. I'm originally from uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, and this is my uh, first show in Miami here at uh, Carol Jazar Contemporary Art. Um, the piece you see behind me is called uh, Nation Builders. And it comes out of a body of work that deal with issues of individual uh, and collective desire for power and control. So the way the piece refers to collective desires to impose order on chaos, which ultimately uh, ends up unleashing more chaos in a sense. Um, but there is this narrative of control that's operating within the piece. Uh, and it, it does arise from maybe my own background, growing up in a conflict situation, but also the, the same desire we have, uh, the same desire that groups of people exercise today to mark terrain, defend terrain, to define it, um, to construct it, uh, and ultimately uh, the problem of, of space, boundaries, borders, etc., etc., and, and the, the tensions and uh, problems that, that the, the desire to control such space leads to. So in a way, the, uh, the background functions on, it's ambiguous, on the one level it, it references national mythology, and on the other level it uh, represents maybe terrain to be controlled or, or dominated or, or subverted in some way. Uh, and the other piece uh, is called Protean Man, and it uh, really sort of represents this whole idea of uh, modernist utopian thought that operated within the 20th century, or that has popped up at various times in the 20th century, that we are building, uh, human beings are capable of building a new, a new man, for want of a better word, or a new person, a new type of humanity, a new type of human being, one that would be you know, free from the shackles of barbarism that has defined uh, humanity in the past. So the piece is sort of, a, the piece is ambiguous and, and well, it's ironic uh, in a sense in that this, uh, it, it, the title is Protein Man, but here we have a, a very, you know, a typical dominant versus uh, subjected uh, relationship, the subjected individual. The figure also, can, you know, confronts the viewer, so is welcoming the viewer in to participate in this ritual of uh, control, humiliation, but the, these are aspects that I see that are still uh, very prevalent in uh, multiple social circumstances, not just conflict situations, but uh, right across the entire social spectrum. So, uh, so it's a piece that I hope uh, you know, relates, I think both, spe both pieces I hope relate to broader contemporary society in a broader sense. Hi, my name is Roberto Vassani. I'm one of the artists in Full Spectrum Dominance. I'm showing gun sculptures here. Uh, it's a body of work I've been working on for about a uh, little over 10 years. And uh, the guns I have here on the show are more modern or contemporary firearms, sort of in relation to Conor McGrady's work. Um, the content in each of the work sort of shifts, and I choose materials and sort of frame them or position them in such a way to refer to a particular context. Um, so each of the pieces sort of varies in terms of materials, the type of gun it is, um, the way it's positioned to sort of tell a story. I'm really interested in people or of making reference to the surroundings that the gun exists in, not, not so much the gun itself, but the political situation, culture, economic situation of where the gun would, might be used. Sometimes that's a very literal in um, sort of context, sometimes it's a context I sort of fabricate in my mind based on things I've heard, things I've read, things I've imagined. Uh, but in general, they all sort of follow that pattern of creating a sort of world or environment um, based on the materials that I use to create them. Um, so I'm standing next to a sculpture that I finished recently. It's titled uh, Against Spears and Shields. I had learned about this gun called the Maxim gun. The first time it was used was in East Africa against the Matabele tribe, and in one afternoon it just killed a whole bunch of people. I think it killed like 50 British soldiers, killed like 5,000 Matabele warriors. So, in any case, that title, Against Spears and Shields, really has to do with this idea of imbalance that this, that this type of weapon can create. In any case, there are some other things that sort of allude to that imbalance. There's a little scale here, and as you can see on one hand of the scale is a piece of lead, which refers to bullets that would be thrown out of the gun. 
There's also a reference to this idea of construction, because a lot in terms of this idea of war, oftentimes what happens is this idea that the culture or the group that sort of wins is doing so thinking that, oh, we're going to reconstruct, we're going to like bring something better, we're going to you know, establish something in place of what we're removing. And I like to play on some of those dualities. I'm really interested in not necessarily like solving these problems, but reflecting these problems and that they're really problems, like creating the work in a way that it becomes somewhat problematic, that the things don't necessarily add up.